In this question, uh, we are given that there's a diagram that shows a sector in a circle with a radius of seven. So if this is the radius, then definitely this is the radius because this is the center and this is the point on the circle. So this is also seven centimeter. And the chord length is 10 centimeters. So first off, we have to find angle AOB. Let's call it theta. So we can use the law of cosines, which says that cos of theta is seven square plus seven square minus 10 square over two times seven times seven. So we just grab my calculator, seven square is 49. So 49 plus 49 minus 100 over uh, 49 times two. And the cos inverse of this value is coming as 91.17 degrees up to two decimal places. So this is an obtuse angle and it is 91.17. And for part B, we have to find the length of the arc and the area of the circle. So for the length of the arc, we can clearly use the formula that theta is arc length over the radius. But mind that the theta must be in radians. So the arc length will be with a cross multiplication of theta times radius. So we substitute theta and convert it into radians by multiplying pi over 180 and the radius is already given to us as 7, 7 centimeters. So let me just grab my calculator and find that. It's multiplied by pi over 180 times 7. So that is coming as 11.14 centimeters. And for the area of the sector, we know that the area of the sector is dependent on the central angle. So the area of the sector will be uh, area of the sector is nothing but pi r square over 360. That is the pi r square is the area of the complete circle. Over 360 is the angle made by the circle times the angle which is made by the sector, which is theta. And we already have the value of theta. So that is pi times 7 square over 360 times 91.17. So uh, let me just uh, pull up my calculator again 91.17 over 360 times 49 times pi so this is coming as 38.94 38.94 and the unit is centimeter square so this is the final answer for the area of the sector thank you